case, moves over here, he's then gonna close with and kill or capture that German. Jedan dana prije dana D, u taboru satnije E, 506. brigade. The estuary of the Duve River divides two beachheads, codenamed Utah, here, and Omaha, here. Seaborne infantry will hit these beaches in force at a date and time to be specified. H hour, D-Day. Airborne's objective, gentlemen, is to take the town of Carantan, or Carantan, thus linking Utah and Omaha into a single continuous beachhead. Omaha and Utah into one continuous beachhead. Each trooper will learn this operation by heart and know his and every other outfit's mission to the detail. Lieutenant Meehan? Yes, Dukeman. Sir, are we dropping tonight? When it's time for you to know, we'll let you know. In the meantime, study these sand tables, maps, and reconnaissance photos until you can draw a map of the area by memory. And we will drop behind this Atlantic wall five hours before the 4th Infantry lands at Utah. Now, between our assembly area and the battalion's objective, there is a German garrison right here in this area, San Marie de Mont. Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Anti se ukrcavaju na avione. Sve je spremno. Nekoliko je sati do iskakanja. Soldiers, sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Standing in the door, I could see the lights on the drop zone, and I had to assume that was our drop zone, way in the, ahead of us. And uh, so that uh, we had had the red light, I had everybody standing up, ready to jump. So when the plane started to get hit, and suddenly the pilot gives me the green light, I'm out the door. Immediately. Got such an opening blast from the, the opening shot from the prop blast that it broke this chin strap that we had on this helmet liner. And, and uh, that's when I lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening. Uh, it just flew right off my foot. We came from the sky, we hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. And uh, that was all part of uh, what you accepted. How do you prepare yourself? Mentally, 
each man must do that himself. Each man must prepare himself mentally to uh, to make that jump. In the back of your mind, you 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 know you you wonder what's going to happen and all that. You know you uh, you've been trained and trained and trained and what your what your job is going to be and what you're supposed to do and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about. You know, whether, and we lost a lot of people that night. But uh, you try to put it all out of your mind. Keep moving! 